From FX Empire, this is Chris Lewis, and I'm looking at Bitcoin for the upcoming 29th session. And the 28th was a good day. We did break through a significant technical level at 7,000, and uh, that's a pretty good sign, truthfully. So I think short term, we're going to see some more bullishness. This shooting star over here could cause a bit of trouble, but, uh, you know, we still have the long term daily trend line. To worry about which is uh, roughly 8,000 so really it's not until we break above 8,000 that I think that we have a more significant move coming in the short term we'll just have to see how this plays out because when you look at the charts um, I mean I really don't know what else to say than look at the charts so uh, at this point we've yet to even make a higher high and that's basically what I'm calling for until then uh, by its very definition, we are still very much in a downtrend um, because we have switched from making uh, higher highs to lower highs, and that's held for the entirety of the year. You know, do we survive? Does it does it run much longer? I, you know, who knows? At this point, it's still a guess. 6,000 is obviously a very important level. So if that breaks down, I think things get really ugly. Now, in all fairness, uh, things have probably gotten way too on the negative side, but uh, I still believe that there's a reason this is selling off. It's just not being adopted. Uh, so if that's the case, uh, look for exhaustion and sell it. Above you know, 8,000, 8,200, then you can start to make a bullish case because if this was to break above there, then you're looking at 6,000 as your obvious stop. And then you would try to go to the highs, but uh, it's not going to do this again. That is never going to happen again. Uh, at this point, it's going to be more of a uh, stable and mature market, which ironically is going to probably take a lot of the very uh, true believers out of it because uh, to the moon was the phase we were here in just nine months ago. And now it's going to act more, I think, like a currency pair, assuming that it survives. Uh, there's some very big names out there calling it a Ponzi scheme. I tend to believe it, actually. Uh, blockchain, you know, is the argument now, and blockchain has nothing to do with Bitcoin. Bitcoin speculation and blockchain technology are two different things. Um, buying into some blockchain companies, uh, that might be a different way to play this instead of worrying about this volatility. Because, you know, we're up 4.8% today, and that's a hell of a return, but... Uh, you know, that's 4.8% from a 66% drop. So really, uh, you're nowhere near being whole if you got in during the mania. That doesn't mean you can't be traded short term, but you definitely have to think short term. You almost have to trade this like a futures contract. So with that being said, I'm looking for exhaustion between here and 8,000. We'll see if we get it. Short term momentum traders might be able to pick up a little bit to the upside. Certainly that's possible. That's plausible. Um, but at this point in time, I, I, over the years, have learned not to trade against the, the main trend. Doesn't mean that things can't change, uh, and they certainly will eventually. But right now, we still haven't cleared that area. Once we do, completely different story.